Hello, today I'm going to review the shower right here. It's a Masti 140 series. And uh, I'm in a basement right now, and this room doesn't have plumbing or um, hot or cold water. So I was able to add hot and cold water and plumbing, and, I was gonna, and I'm going to show you how I did it. And this is for temporary use. Uh, it's if you want a shower and you need one for the basement. This is a good idea right here. So here's the model number right here. And this is what I did to it. This shower is 36 by 36. And this is how it looks right here. It's a standalone shower. It's not bolted to nothing. So it just stands on its own. And I was uh, added this rack right here. This is for uh, the shampoos. It, it does not come with this, but you can add it if you want. It's just, it goes, it's like a clamp, you know? It goes there and in the bottom. And this is how the shower looks. Then for my shower head, I added the shower panel. Right here, this is the shower panel. This is how it looks. And uh, I only paid $60 for it. I was able to find it on Facebook. And it's pretty nice, right here. And you control it with the snob right here if you wanna use stuff for it. And then that turns on and then you get the waterfall. And you get this too. Look at that. Okay. Um, then, yeah, this is how it looks. And it stands by itself. So I have it on this wood. This is how it stands like that. So the, all the plumbing is underneath. Let me show you some light. And you can see I put blocks underneath right here, all these blocks, just to support the top. So if you move the blocks, you can actually go underneath and you can see my plumbing. So there's the hot water and cold water and there's my plumbing right there. And it goes inside the wall right there. It goes inside the wall over there. And then these two pipes, they go. The, this is hot and cold water, and they go up all the way up to the ceiling. And they come out from the top right here, right there. You see it? They come from the top, and they go down the shower panel, and then they connect. This is how it looks. Oh, and I cut this off right here. This is the like the handle it comes with. And I cut, I cut here and here to stick the shower panel in. And this is how it looks. Oh, and then the shower panel is hanging on this, like a hanger. It's for like hats and coats, but I was able to just hang it right there and right there. And I've been using this for a couple months now and it's been really good. Um, yeah. This is how it is, and there's no holes in the shower. I don't have to drill nothing in the in the walls, so everything's closed in. And the uh, shower has no silicone or nothing, so you just build it like this, and you don't have to add no silicone to it. And it had no leaks at all. And the plumbing, I'll show you where I got my hot and cold water. So there's the plumbing right there. It's gonna go. It goes inside this wall right here. And then here, I got a bathroom, and there's the plumbing right here. So that's my hot and cold water and my the drain. So it's all coming from there. It keeps going, goes to that next thing, next wall, comes out of there. And then my water, I got it from the laundry. So here's my hot and cold water. So I have one going to the hot, one hot and one cold going to the laundry. So then I put a splitter. So I got a splitter. So cold water goes to my shower and hot water goes to my shower. And then I split it. Here are my splitters. And then the drain will go behind. And then, 
and it goes right here into like a bucket sink drain. This is how it goes. And then I was able to also add a sink right here. Here's the sink. And here's the plumbing. So that's the black pipe I used. And there's the hot and cold water right there. And these are regular washer machine hoses right here. Just regular connections. And that's how the underneath looks right there. Right there. You can see that's for the shower right there. And that one is for the sink. It just connects right there and it goes inside the wall and all the way to by the washer machines. Let's have a look. And that's it. This is the review of it. Oh, and I also added uh, this plexiglass right here. It's just a regular floor for your flooring for the chair. But I put it right here just for the steam. Uh, it works pretty good too. You don't have to put it, but I did it. Just has like a roof. But other than that, that's it.